the Seahawks laying three and a half. 38 is the total, plus 166 home dogs for the Patriots, who, I mean, again, Seattle, another one I got the knife out there because uh, a little sh- sharp money coming in again on the Seahawks. Uh, Pats looking ahead to Thursday night football. Oh. If you track that kind of stuff, which could be perhaps we're in back to back tough spots for Mr. Mayo. First, you have the dump the Gatorade uh, coming off the dump the Gatorade game, which is this game. And then you have your first early week Thursday night game. Lot to deal with. I, as soon as we saw the Gatorade go, we said we're taking. Yeah, I mean, we're fading this team next week. I, it's the strongest trend out there. It's fading. <laughs> they literally dumped the Gatorade. Usually, after it's a figurative <laughs> Gatorade dump uh, during nope, the regular season. It was bad. a literal uh, Gatorade dump. Now, certainly, you well, know, George Fant maybe being out for the Seahawks. Walker, um, Walker, I, and according to SGPN Doc, uh, aka the DJ Doc. He was saying it's pretty concerning considering Kenneth Walker's history of oblique injuries. Yeah. So I think Charbonnet is actually going to get the uh, start there. I think the Seahawks team is a little too talented not to get this done. It's a massive letdown spot. Do I like the Seahawks as a non-conference road favorite? No. And uh, that Keon White, the, um, the second uh, second year uh, pass rusher for the Pats, I thought had a really good game. He was a fun watch. Um, we'll we'll see. Like if the Seahawks lose this, it's it's some Geno over Geno turnover stuff. Which you know, as much as I was not right about the uh, Broncos game, eventually I think most places had a push. Maybe if you got the six and a half, um, I think Geno looking bad was a was a take that I felt pretty good still about uh in that week one. Like they they won and probably got the cover most places, but I don't know. I don't think Gino looked very sharp. That being said, Jacoby Brissett isn't a guy who racks up wins, doesn't go back to back, fading Brissett after a win, fading Gerard Mayo after his first win. Would fading be. a team literally dumping the Gatorade. Yeah. Now and I don't want any part of this in Survivor because no. And I think Seattle is going to be a popular survivor no, play, right? Yeah. No, yeah. no, no, no. I'm no, telling no, you. No, 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 no. You can't do that. I, I will say they did play good defense. And so unless I guess how, where are you on Cincinnati? Because part of me is I, I think since the part of new England playing good defense was Cincinnati looked like crap. And so, yeah, I think it was Cincinnati starts off slow. They were obviously looking ahead to the chiefs. Again, all the reasons we said, don't take Cincinnati in your survivor. I think it was, I don't think it was like the pets are, are way off. I think a lot of the anti pat stuff that we were on, I think still applies. And yes, I think we'll, fi- I think we'll be looking at when we have uh, you know, four to six weeks of data. Well, I think we'll be looking at Seattle as a, a top run defense in the league. I think I think that defensive front's going to be tough, and so if New England, what happens if New England can't run the ball, Sean? We don't know yet. We'll I think they're going to I think they're going to be in trouble. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, shout out to Molly Hudgens in the chat. Oh. Is this really love? Uh, and then she goes, "LOL, live." Uh, it is live. youtubecom slash sports game of the mm-hmm. podcast. Smash! That subscribe button. So we're both on Seattle here as a non-conference road favorite. Uh. Laying the three and a half, not take. And I, I mean, again, some the close your eyes special in this. There is no handicap. The Gatorade was dumped. We just have to follow need. through.